Hey everybody, it's Professor Powerline, and welcome back to more Let's Play Zelda Ocarina of Time. And guess where we are? That's right, we're back inside the Great Deku Tree. Which, needless to say, it's been a while since we were in here. Anyway, so I came in here because I wanted to get the few things we missed in the first time through. Or rather, the one thing. What we didn't get was... This way. I must have these guys. What we didn't get was, pardon my throat from those idiot things, a gold control that's just through this room. Now, not only do you need bombs to get through here, but you also are going to need your boomerang, which we just recently got, so that works out nicely for us. Um, here he is. Thought it'd be good to go back and get this guy because once we've got him, we cleared out two of the Young Link dungeons with gold controllers. We can't go don do Donjigo's Cavern just yet because we still need one more weapon for it, so we'll do that later. Anyway, so, while we're teleporting, I'll tell you that I'm feeling ambitious today. I think we're going to get four golden katolas, maybe a heart piece, a bigger wallet, and a ton of rupees if I can do this all right. On top of that, I think we're going to sell a mask. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty ambitious. But I think it's doable. I really do. So, once we've gotten that golden katola, we're going to head back to Kakariku Village. And yes, I finally learned how to pronounce that stupid place. Took me long enough. And what you want to do is you want to get there about, I think, either evening or dawn should do you just fine, but just not middle of the day or middle of the night. Do that, what we want won't be there, and we can always change it to nighttime once we got what we need, so that's what you want to do. Shouldn't be too hard by the time we get there, it should be getting late anyway. I'm so glad I can have my Smash, smash Pot house back. I love that place. It's so easy to raise money in there. Alright, so here we go. Anyway, rolling, rolling. I already missed a pony. And wow, it's already getting darker. We'll look at there just right on time. This will work really good. I should mention later there is a, uh, I think there's later a song that gets you too close to Kakariku Village, but not quite right on it. I never personally use that one, but we'll get that song later, so. You know, this should be just perfect, I think. Maybe a little early, but I think this should do just fine. So, what I want you to do is head down to the graveyard, and you're going to need your spooky mask. Put that equipped real quick. Put that on just for the heck of it. And do -do 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 -do. Ah, I hate running places. I think Adult Link actually even runs faster. Oh, look, she's lost her chickens again. She's it's a miracle she makes any money on those chickens of hers. Alrighty then, and here we go. Shut up, Navi. Navi's almost useful in the uh, when you're an adult link because of um, the lack of hints you get to where you're supposed to go. Anyway, so here we have this nice little kid. He's Im imitating the gravekeeper that I failed to introduce up to this point. And his big problem is that he's not very scary. So what you do is you capitalize on his um, lack of self-confidence, and we make some money off it because that's what every good video game character does. Makes money off people's um, insecurity. <laughs> Not really, but whatever. We're going to sell him the mask, and he'll give us a good old 30 bucks for it, which is pretty dang nice. I don't remember if that's how much we paid for. I think we paid 24, but I can't exactly remember, so we're going to roll with whatever. <laughs> oh, wait, nope, we paid 30. Never mind. But, yep, that takes care of that. I'm going to re-equip my slingshot. Um, dang it. Alright, now what you're going to do is turn into nighttime via Sun Song the most useful song in this game, probably, except for maybe, like, Zola's Lullaby. Sarah song has got a whole three or four uses. Uh, the teleportation songs, maybe, but... Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so we're gonna go over here and get this gold so that we couldn't get earlier, because of our lack of, of uh, Boomerang. The Boomerang is the ultimate uh, gold to collect on weapon, if you haven't already figured that out. Just throw it up there, and there you go. Should give us, what is that, 28 now, I think? We get two more, and we can get not one but two rewards from the cursed uh, spider house, which is pretty dang good, needless to say. Shut up, Navi. And we've already met, we've already almost met the quota of golden skulls that we're planning to get. The only thing that might be tricky to get in this video is that um, heart piece I was talking about, because quite frankly, I'm not good at the mini game for it. And um, oh my goodness, spoilers! It's a mini game. Um, but <laughs> yeah, on my practice runs, I could not do it at all, but, eh, if I can do it, awesome, if I can't, something for you guys to laugh at, 
Um, if I can't get it, what I'll do is I'll start off the next video with me winning it. And I do not know how I missed this guy my first time through here. I just... I don't know how I missed him. It was painfully obvious. How did I miss him? You don't even need the boomerang. It's just... It was dumb that I missed that guy. Because <laughs> we ran through here for Golden Consoles earlier, and I just went right past him. Anyway. So, the last one is on Death Mountain Trail. Right in here. Another one that we kill him. Die for. That we couldn't get uh, because of lack of boomerang. Hey. Pretty big problem, actually. Slot conduit, get a boomerang, and there we go. And that should give us, let me just check my thing here, 40. Yep, I'm right. Alrighty then. So, let's go just cash those guys in, I guess. So, back to the Golden Control House. And while we're going there, um, I should say the first, the, the reward for 30 is probably the best reward out of all the Golden Scatola um, rewards you get. I mean, the reward for 50 is decent, um, but the reward for 40 and um, 100 is not worth the trouble, really. I Personally, I don't think I'd recommend going for 100 Golden Scatola. It's just not worth the trouble. It really isn't. So, we go over here to our reward for 30. And that is... Drama... The adult's wallet, or giant's wallet, my bad. This will hold up to 500 rupees. And there's really nothing in the game that requires that, so whatever. And now we can fill it up a little bit. With, oh, bomb juice. I thought for sure this was money. Um, my mistake. Okay. I guess bomb juice is worth, worth it considering how overpriced those things are. So, anyway, having done that, probably the prelude of light, head back to Hyrule real quick. And we'll get that thing that was the last thing I'm intending to get in this video. And that guy's over really, like stuck in like what looks like sitting stance. Um, yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> so I was calling it sitting stance though. That's what I get for being a martial artist. Anyway, so now what we're going to do is head over here to the market. Hit these dogs; they'll start following you. I've always wondered if you can get more than one following you. I've never bothered to try. Let's hit them. Nope, just one. Problem is you can't get rid of the just one once you've got him. So, anyway, where we're going is right over here. And I've got a good two minutes left. I'll probably be able to get this. So over here, we go over here to our person who clearly cares about her job. And this is the Bonkachu Bowling Alley, one of my favorite minigames in the game. I'm not nearly as good at it as I remember being, though. I used to be really good at it, but not so much anymore. In fact, I'm pretty terrible at it right now. But anyway, 30 rupees for a play, you get 10 bomb to choose, and I believe you have to hit 5 targets. But it is a lot harder than it sounds. And yep, there's our reward for win, a heart piece. So, the first one, not difficult. At all. Very simple fact. Hey, Bucci, what's up? Elongated cutscene of explosions. And there's the second one. There's a chicken guarding it now, which does make things more difficult, because let's face it, chickens are indestructible in this game. And hey, I'm doing really good. It's already two down, two for two right now. That's, that's pretty awesome. There's shot number three. We have an even bigger chicken guarding it with an even smaller walking area. Let's try now. Nah, I ain't gonna fly. Alright, so let's wait for him to get to the center again. Oh, I fried the chicken. Okay. Go, go, no, 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 da! Dang it! Go, 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 yeah! Oh, there's only three. I thought for sure there was five. Oh, sweetness! Dang, I'm good. Harpies for me. Booyah! And you can come back here to win more bomb chews because, frankly, these things are explo are explosive, expensive, and pretty hard to come by. I will not play again. No. Alrighty then, so with that we have yet another hard piece, three golden scatolas, or four more golden scatolas, sold an additional mask, and is that all we did? Oh yeah, I got a bigger wallet, so this has been a very productive video. Really, really productive, like, considerably more so than I actually thought I was going to be capable of in one video. But, just for kicks, we're going to go return the money for the last mask, and we're going to buy the next one. But I'm not going to show who to sell it to immediately. In fact, I think I'm going to go back to 
adult link after this video. We're probably gonna go see about that last time. But the last one is the Bunny Hood, my all-time favorite masks in the Zelda universe. Pretty dang awesome. It doesn't make you faster like it does in Majora's Mask, but still pretty dang awesome. So, having done that, I think that's quite enough for this video. Uh, next time on Let's Play Zelda Ocarina of Time, we'll be going back to Adult Link, and we're going to be seeing about the next temple. Alright, see y'all next time.